Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I want to share with you how to set this cool effect uh, of lights and shadow for your characters and of course before we start I remind you to subscribe my channel, hit a comment, drop a like, you know, about all these activities because it's the best way how you can support me as a creator. Okay, okay, I'm done with this blogger's thing, so let's move to the new composition, to my new clean composition and set this mm, effect. To set these uh, lights and shadows, I'm going to use layer styles, so you can find it here, layer styles, and first of all, I need bevel and emboss, let's add. So we already have some cool effects, uh, let's check how it should look. Okay, cool. So here you can uh, play with the depths, yeah? You can make it a bit smaller, maybe... I like to see um, the effect, yeah? So I have a huge value for the depths. Okay, you also can change size. So I guess it's too much, so let's... Let's say... 7, I guess it works perfect. And of course you can smooth your mm, bevel and emboss effect. So if I don't have any smooth uh, uh, parameter for this effect, you see, you see it doesn't look very nice. And let's make uh, the value a bit higher and maybe even more. Okay, cool. And set the um, highlight mode, I used uh, screen mode, it works perfect. And also I have some, not just white color for uh, lights, uh, but some warm yellow, some, some tint of yellow, yeah, I guess. And for shadow mode, of course, I recommend to use multiply. And also I don't have, uh, I don't use um, just... Uh, you see, yeah, just uh, black shadows because it it looks dirty a bit and not so clean. So yeah, not the best idea. So I have some colors for my shadow and uh, use multiple multiply effect, uh, multiply mode, uh, and that's why it looks more natural. Okay, cool. What else we can set here? Um, okay, you can play with some modes, but it's the best for me right now. And then I need to add one more uh, layer styles and it will be, it will be, oh my god, inner shadow, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. For inner shadow, we need to change, uh, of course, uh, the mode and I use overlay. Let's turn off, uh, turn off bevel and emboss to see the result, yeah. And here you can see that if we use overlay effect and at the same time use color just black, it works cool. Just because, oops, just because we have some extra shading for our character, yeah? Uh, you can play with opacity, make it more visible or not, I guess it's enough for me. And also make sure that you use correct angle, so it will be in the same direction of your light. Uh, just like you, de uh, you did for bevel and emboss. So it should be four, I guess, for this one. So we have light here and shadows here. And just, just remember about it. Okay, cool. What else? Also, uh, you can change uh, the size, yeah, make it... Uh, you know, more visible, more contrast, or vice versa. I like smooth um, gradients for this one, so that's why I have 56 mm, value for size. And also, if you need some textures, yeah, if you need some noise, you can apply uh, noise as well. Uh, but I don't need it uh, just for these graphics, because I didn't use any noises for as a texture, yeah, so I will leave just 0%. But of course you can experiment with this and it's great. Okay, it seems cool for now, but I need to add uh, one more uh, layer, yeah, so I'm going to duplicate this layer. 
Okay, let's do it. And let's just delete all layer styles. We don't need it right now. And apply effect fill. And I need to change color to black. So cool. And also change the um, the mode. It should be add. Okay, great. And now I need one more layer styles and it will be inner shadow as well, but with uh, another settings. Yeah, let me show you. So here I have uh, another mode and it will be vivid light, I guess. And also I need to change some color as well. There is some light pink uh, and uh, I need to change direction as well. It looks too, um, how to say, too bright, yeah? So we need to uh, change op opacity yeah? here for this layer. I guess 45 is enough. And we're done with this cool effect. You can do it not only for characters, you can do it also for another layers, another object. So if this video tutorial was useful for you, please drop a comment and hit the like, uh, subscribe on my YouTube channel. And of course, I invite you to subscribe on my Instagram, where I post even more tips about motion design and illustration. And of course, stay tuned, because soon I'm going to uh, post my first class about advanced trick. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of things uh, should happen uh, and I even I even completely forget to say you that sometimes we have streams about animation on this channel. So yeah, and thanks for watching. Bye guys.